So in the earlier example, we have shown how to calculate stress. Um, and then in this example, we're going to talk about factor of safety. It's the same example. We can check the earlier video how it was calculated. So in this factor of safety example, I mean, in the real world, we cannot simply know everything. So in engineering design, the allowable stress is not what the um, yield strength is used. So the allowable stress is calculated normally. Um, now the factor of safety depends on so many things and so many situations. If you're designing a nuclear reactor, you probably need a higher factor of safety than just the uh, designing a chair that average Joe and me is gonna sit on. So if you wanna calculate the allowable stress the way it is calculated is the yield strength you could use yield yield value some materials you only have yield value some materials you only have is uh, ultimate value so if you use yield value a rule of thumb if it's not a particular specialized application you can simply divide this by 1.67 uh, factor of safety so this is the factor of safety and then you could also use to um, the ultimate strain to calculate the allowable uh, which is the sigma ultimate divided by the factor of safety in that case if you use ultimate strain typically factor of safety 3 is used so if we in this case it says use the ultimate strain so which is 58 so if we do 58 ksi divide by 3 so that would be let's see i calculated that somewhere uh not finding that so let's calculate it divide by three is 19.33 so the question is asking if you apply the factor of safety will this material fail now the calculated stress was if you remember 15 ksi only and then it can it, it the material can allow up to uh, 19.33 ksi so uh, it's not gonna fail so basically not uh, fail even if you consider the factor of safety